Imagine you've got a galaxy and the Earth. Now, the galaxy is emitting light because the galaxy is made of stars. And so the galaxy is emitting light with a particular wavelength. So let's say that the waves come out of the galaxy like this, where each one of those circles is a wave front. It's the peak of a particular wave. Now that's going to keep going until it reaches Earth. And when it does reach Earth, Earth is going to detect that light as having the same frequency, the same wavelength as when it left the galaxy. But now imagine that the galaxy, instead of staying still relative to the Earth, now imagine that the galaxy is moving away from the Earth in this direction. If the galaxy is moving away, then every time it releases a wave front, let's say it releases that wave front, and then it moves a little bit to the left, like this. And then it releases another wave front. And then it moves a little to the left. And then it releases another wave front. You can see that the wavelength of the light reaching the Earth is much greater than it was when it was emitted. So the galaxy is still emitting the same wavelength of light, roughly about that distance, but because it's moving away from the Earth, the wavelength has increased when we're viewing it from the Earth. So what that means is that we see light with a stretched wavelength, a longer wavelength, and therefore we see light shifted towards the red end of the spectrum, the red end of the visible spectrum, or the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, when the galaxy is moving away. So if any galaxy is moving away from the Earth, we see light being red-shifted, or shifted towards the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum because the wavelength is longer.